Do you have a dirty little secret? Welcome to the club. And you're all invited. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We're handed out memberships free of charge. Step up to the VIP line and let Dana and Brimstone take you on a weekly ride of secrets and debauchery. Now buckle up, buttercup, because things are about to get heated on the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We are your hosts. I am Dana Pereira. And this is Brimstone, and it's going to be an epic episode because we're here. We're going to do another little mini one for you, and uh, we're just going to get in and out quick, just like so your husbands. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> you like that, didn't you? So relatable. Nice. That is very relatable. Everyone's like, oh, oh, quick, like my husband. Yeah, 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 I know what that is. <laughs> I got you. I got you. The in and out just, oh, I got, I got you. Shit, I might have put myself in that same situation. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's preferred, honestly. Sometimes it's preferred. I know we've had this conversation many times. Many Listen, times. Hurry, hurry up, get it over with. I need to go watch the news. <laughs> well, but here's the thing, though. I need my husband to look into his crystal ball and try and determine if it's one of those times or not. Do I want oh. you to be quick or do I want you to take your time? Um, so, you know, it's like, uh, oh, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to tell you this. I went to the zoo and I saw it. we were like hanging with the giraffes. So I was going to make a reference to the giraffes. And then I remembered that I never told you this story. Oh, I learned a fact about giraffes. Oh, the male giraffe will yes. follow the female giraffe. Mm -hmm. And whenever she starts to pee, he will stick his tongue out and lick her pee because giraffes <laughs> have a way of deciphering the hormones in their pee so they can detect the hormones and decipher them to see if she's in a good mood or not. <clears throat> so they can basically tell, does she want me near her or does she not want me near her? <laughs> wow. That's all I have to say is wow. And the fact that you learned all this and you probably looked it up or you yeah. asked somebody there, um, sir, no, they told us on the tour. <laughs> <laughs> sir ma'am um why he just lick her pee <laughs> uh -huh. he just lick, is that foreplay or something what's going on we watched it happen i watched the giraffe bend his head down while the girl giraffe was peeing and he stuck his tongue out into her pee but he sat next to her or not sat stood next to her and i was like oh so her hormones must be saying like yeah it's cool you can stick around <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> and you were enjoying every second of that, probably giggling to yourself the whole time. I was like, this is definitely going on the Dirty Little Secrets Club. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. You, you, the little giraffe. We got some giraffe things. kink going on. <laughs> Dirty uh... Little Secrets Club. But whenever, you, whenever I was like, oh, my husband has to look into his crystal ball, it reminded me like, oh, you know, giraffes kind of have a little bit of their own crystal ball. They just have to taste some pee first. There you go. And uh, the first question here, uh, I mean, the first write in here is um, I licked my girlfriend's pee yeah. um, <laughs> to see if she was interested. Oh, 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 sorry. No, that wasn't. No, nope, no. Nope, wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I believe you're starting it today, by the way. I am. Um, our first secret today says I used to deliver pizzas in high school. OK. One time, the jock asshole that was always horrible to me ordered some pizzas I rubbed my ball sack all over it and spit in his drink. Still gives me great pleasure. <laughs> okay. Oh, now, boy. first and foremost, you're going to tell me uh, this is funny, but disgusting and funny. No <laughs> one. Like, you know, because you never know who's going to do what and whatever. And then, I know. You know like, it's just kind of kind of gross. But you know, at the end of the day, like, bro, you're going to tell me you rubbed your nuts against the pizza. First and foremost, was it that's like gonna the crust burn your, or the cheese? Gonna, yeah, yeah, that's gonna burn your kibbles and bits. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I know that that because if you're delivering a pizza, it's supposed to be hot. So uh -huh. I know when it comes out, that smack that that's that shit is burning so hot that you know, like you put your ball sack to my now. I don't know about you. I don't know about your your husband. I, my ball sack is is fragile. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's mm -hmm. fragile. It is like a, you know, like a very gentle toy. It should say fragile on it. I, you do not do not do anything that's going to harm my testicles. OK, mm -hmm. so you no. Know, so the just the thought of of smearing my ball sack on a hot pizza. All right. With hot cheese. 
yeah. makes me like, Ugh! you know and what I mean? This guy has like a ball sack of steel, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Like if you jizzed in the, the sauce and then mixed it in or something like or you know, something like that, which is absolutely disgusting. Please don't do this. Yeah. Um, but if you did something like that, then it's like, OK, you know, like that's gross. Uh, uh, you got him, eh, you know, but at least it's not harming yourself. That sounds like you're harming them. And and then you spit in the drink. I mean, I, I don't know. Well, you just got to like people need to stop going through life being dicks and not that this what this person did was OK. It's just that you never know you're an asshole to somebody. And then that person ends up being the guy that delivers your pizza. And now you're eating ball sack cheese and spit drinks, you know, like, yeah make better decisions be nicer to people also maybe don't rub your ball sack all over people's food yeah i don't want no nut sack uh, aroni you know? nut sack aroni <laughs> no 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 the uh you know tender balls no not oh, interested no 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 not interested not interested mm. it's not fun it is not my friend i no i i can't say anything more about this one i just can't yeah, I just get all hey, I can see is this. Keep your ball guy. sack safe out there, okay? Like, how is it? How would you even do that? Like, how? Maybe how it wasn't a hot pizza. But even, even how would, you, how would you just like position yourself to do that? Think about it. That's a excellent question. I have no idea. No, I don't have a ball sack currently, so I am unsure how that would work <laughs> well i'll tell you with as as someone with a huge nutsack um i can tell you that it is virtually impossible uh unless it's a tiny little pizza and even then like the spread has to be just right and it's got to be held at the right you know uh locate in the right location and i mean maybe like if you maybe, maybe if they he took like up a piece of pizza and just like rubbed it on his ball sack yeah but what again wouldn't that be i don't know i don't know i don't know I'm going to I pass. Maybe this was like Chessarina pizza and it wasn't hot. It was like tapping out, <laughs> tapping out. Well, nothing to do with this anymore. Um, Let's go to the next one. You ready for this? I am ready. As the writer says, my now husband doesn't know that we weren't supposed to go on our first date. We were set up by a friend and I was not attracted to him at all. I almost canceled 100 times. My roommate convinced me to go to at least be cordial. And he grew on me in a couple of hours. Best decision I ever made was to go out on that date. But I think it would hurt his feelings if he knew how I initially felt. Wow. That's rough. Yeah, that's... It would hurt my feelings if Joe was like, oh, yeah, at first I was like not really attracted to you. I'd be like, oh, ouch. I know, right? I mean, you know, like, ouch. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Oof. It hurts. It really oh. does. I, I heard for this. Either. Keep that a secret. I heard for him. Oh my goodness, that is that's like that's a mean. You're a mean girl. You're well, you are a mean mean girl. I will join the mean girls club because I have an ex boyfriend that I had met on the internet. I went to meet him in person, and the first thing I thought whenever I saw him in person was like, nope. Never gonna happen. <laughs> not gonna. Ha I was not immediately attracted to him, but couple like eh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it was like four hours later. I was like making out with him and totally in love. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Now I'm now I worry. Do, 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 am, am people saying how ugly I am all the time. Yeah. That makes me really. Thank you so much for making me feel all freaking. Personalities will make them grow on you. <laughs> you all right. Well, I have a personality. I have an awesome personality, but I still want to look all right. You do, God damn it. Brem, you do. You know Liar. that Danielle well, didn't. She thought you were attractive from the get go. She did. She was like, you're the hot one, aren't you? I was like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I am. <laughs> but that was that was also 20, 20 years ago when I was thin and good looking. Now I'm yeah. fat and ugly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you said you agreed. You're like, yep, yep. <laughs> no, it was just funny because my husband Dana. and I, hold on. My husband and I just had this conversation because we we see pictures of ourselves whenever we were like young and we were like, God damn, we were so skinny. We looked so good. And now look at us. <laughs> <laughs> but but you guys is, at least look good. You guys look good. I don't I don't like look at my husband and think like, ew, you know, I'm like, because <laughs> it's kind of like 
whenever you see somebody every single day, you don't notice the subtle changes that are happening over time. Like he doesn't mm -hmm. notice like the grays in my hair, or the wrinkles on my face. And same with him. It's like, I don't really look at him and be like, oh my God, you aged so much because I see him every day. But if you take a picture from 15 years ago of me and take a picture of me now, they are not going to match up. They're not the same. Yeah. Yeah. I, when I, when I posted uh, the pictures for the, what do you call it? Um, you know, for the last post I just did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I looked at it and I go, wow. Yeah. I gained like a lot of weight. <laughs> it happens. This is life, man. It's a, uh, ebb and flow you know we go up yeah. we go down we go up we go down we go down we go up it is what it is i don't know man um wow i listen i i can't believe wow so so they're married now too uh -huh. she thought the guy's ugly and then now they're married like now she has to have babies with him potentially <laughs> like what yeah like what but see here's the thing you know yeah personality is a bunch but you know, like you've got to you've got to look at a person when they're, you know, when you're getting things going. And I don't know if I couldn't. I, I definitely I have had that thought about like, oh, gosh, I cannot have babies with that person. Do you see the honker on that dude? Like, I don't want my babies to grow up with that honker. Right. You know what it's I mean? It's a shallow ass thing to say and do. But I def I I had the thought before for sure. Or or look at look at their parents and be like, uh, mm. 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 do I really want to dip in that gene pool? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't know. Oy, 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 I know That's we're terrible good. people. We're going straight yeah. to hell. Straight to hell. Been there, done that. It's all right. We're good. We have a, we have a nice little. Hey, line. at least we'll we have right. friends there, right? Yeah, that's true. And we'll be able to sit and do the show there. We're all right. We're all oh right. yeah, 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 for yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll do the Happy Little Secrets Club next. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a cat and she was nice. Yay. That's my the end. Um, the end. Anyway, uh, guys, we appreciate you. We love you. Thank you so much. Of course, we ran out of time for our little mini episode. Uh, you'll be getting a lot of these mini episodes the next couple of weeks while Dana takes her uh, vacation to Italy, which she's so mm -hmm. excited about. Oh my God, and so uh, it's going to be it's going to be off the chain. And uh, what do you call it? We'll hear all about it, about it when she gets back. Um, Dana, you want to let everybody know the rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club? Of course, guys. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is to tell everyone, everyone, damn it, everyone about the Dirty <laughs> Little Secrets Club. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, make sure you rate, review, subscribe. Uh, five stars only. That's all we're accepting. And uh, we will see you again next week. Think we want something from you, you got another thing coming.